Hey guys, the voice of the blockchain here, Satoshi's big cousin, cryptography's finest, champagne crypto. Thanks for tuning in. Big shout out to all the crypto maniac boomers tuning in to this live broadcast. Indeed, this is a live broadcast, the voice of the blockchain here, kabooming with the best of them. Uh, today, we'll be talking about Bitcoin to transform the world economy so do some traders say they're on tradingview.com google predicting crypto prices through the search we'll be talking about this study auger uh everypedia and more some of these platforms have caught my attention more this week today we'll be talking more about that as the bits are taking shots out there in the field blood has been lost someone call a medic out there bitcoin looking slim let's check out today's mathematics as the rest of the crypto maniac boomers tune in to this live broadcast if you haven't already click subscribe click like click the post notification bell ding ding do it right now i need you to touch all the buttons kaboom to that shout out to eric thorpe jojo wave cryptozilla crypto knight dean reed mac charles sanjuro and the rest of the boomers that are tuning in to this live broadcast as the bits are currently under fire let's check out the prices here uh currently trading at 64.39 out there uh, a little bit healthier than where we were at yesterday. I think we we're about 63, 64 yesterday. Uh, you know, we're on the up and up on this on this movement right now in this past hour. How long will this crypto storm blow? Okay, uh, are we going to go lower? How low could it go? Uh, what's going on with Google? What's going on with some of these traders saying Bitcoin's about to transform the economy? What's going on with Augur? Everypedia and some of these other platforms that have caught our attention. Let's check out today's mathematics and see how healthy or ill the markets are looking. Market cap currently at $226 billion. Let me hit refresh. $226 billion Bitcoin dominance continues to increase 49.2%. Last week, uh, we were at, you know, 47, 48. It looks like every single day, uh, another half percent creeps up there on the Bitcoin dominance. This is good for the Bitcoin holders. I told you, majority of your bags should always be in Bitcoin when it comes to cryptocurrency investing. That's my personal opinion. Uh, not pro advice, of course, being that I'm not one. But uh, anyhow, uh, you know, if you've been following my opinions, uh, then you've probably stopped some of your losses there with these baby altcoins. I expect the Bitcoin dominance to reach 50% or maybe even 51 percent uh before uh they start selling off into some of the altcoins and uh perhaps maybe it may be an opportunity for the altcoins right now being that things are so low things will swing back around we just got to be patient bitcoin currently trading at 64.79 uh basically where it was up yesterday uh up 0.8 percent uh almost one percent there for the past 24 hours ethereum uh taking shots under 400 362 for ether it's looking like a steal right now it's looking like a red tag discount event with ether shout out to my ethereum maniacs ripple trash bags trash bags trash bags we skip that one bitcoin cash at 600 about to dip below the six out there below 600 for bitcoin cash uh let's see where that heads to eos below six as well at 557 uh, eos uh one of my favorite coins up there in the top 10 is not looking healthy this week or uh you know nothing's really looking healthy this week that's why we have the majority of the bags on bitcoin and we're weathering the storm eos where today we're going to be talking about a platform uh, on top of EOS, Everypedia, which is similar to Wikipedia. I want to talk about that. Stellar at uh, 21 cents. Stellar is looking good. Stellar was dubbed as a buy last week by the boomers. They're on trading view. Some of the boomers here in the box. Stellar Lumens being Ripple's little cousin. I'm not very much attracted to. But I keep my eyes focused here on the crosshairs of the sniper scope. We never know what will kaboom. We got uh, Litecoin, 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 Litecoin at $62, down uh, 1%. So Litecoin's looking slim as well. Uh, let there be light out there. Cardano at $0.12. Cents. Uh, IOTA at $0.60. Cents. Tron at $0.02. Cents. Tron is looking frail out there tron needs some strong lifting asap monero at 97 dollars finally fell, fell under 100 dollars, and then ether classic which has been dubbed a buy even up to yesterday by the trading view posters out there uh is currently trading at 15 dollars and 22 cents we do know that ether classic is being listed there by coinbase i believe uh, coinbase pro already allows you to purchase that coin i'm not sure if the uh, normal coinbase allows you to purchase ether classic just yet now one thing that i 
frequently mention about Ether Classic is that rumor is that whatever's going on over there on Ether can be easily replicated on Ether Classic for much less cost. Okay, uh, apparently I, I, I was reading somewhere. I think they did FOMO 3D over there on ETC. Okay, FOMO 3D over there on ETC. So they're ripping off all the dApps, putting them on ETC and letting them run uh, for cheaper is the way I'm understanding. Okay, so, you know, kaboom. Shout out to my ETC bag holders out there. Bitcoin currently trading at 64.42. We got 27 in the box. I see David. I see Crypto Knight. I see Original Copy, one of our five-star, four-star generals out there. Uh, Jojo Wave. I heard Augur had a bug recently or was possibly hacked. Any know, uh, anyone know about that? Yeah, we heard about that. Well, let's talk about that uh, today. Uh, original Copy says pump to 7K, then another dump. We'll see, Copy. Right now, we're in this territory just holding the line. It looks like we may see little dips, dives, and slides, but I don't see any major kabooms coming until uh, we cross this hurdle, till we find out what's going on with these ETFs and whatnot. Expect to be trading sideways uh, for some time now. Uh, I see Lazor, I see Holmes, and I see other uh, boomers there in the box. Welcome, good morning. Touch the buttons for me, guys. Uh, you know, Champagne arguably could be shadow banned out there by some of these lefty media publications. They may not want us to win out here. We may be going a little too hard. So in response, we got to make sure we touch all the buttons, touch all the kabooms out there, and let the world know that we're not playing games and that we're still out here with the, uh, the, the guns cocked, our sniper scopes ready. Kaboom to that. Charter SS, add to your list. Uh, never heard of that one. I'll, I'll check it out when I can. Okay. Uh, David Tilbrook says pro only. I think you're referring to Ethereum Classic on Coinbase. Uh, from what I heard so far, it's only traded as a, uh, on the pro platform, but it's soon to be listed on the regular Coinbase. Coinbase being one of the most popular exchanges to buy Bitcoin with US dollars. I have a link to join Coinbase down below where if you spend over 100 bucks in uh, crypto or Bitcoin, you get an extra $10 in crypto as a kaboom bonus and then they throw champagne ten dollars extra you win we win the population of the chat box win it's a kaboom so make sure you touch it if you haven't already guys let's check out some of the positive headlines here that may positively impact the markets here in our bags uh, google search volume can predict crypto price movement a study suggests now I would have assumed this, but apparently they have uh, academia behind it and they're uh, hashing it out. A recently, a recently conducted study found Google search volume can be used to predict future price movements in crypto markets. This as price fluctuations mostly revolve around uh, investor attention, not e macroeconomic factors. And this is a point that I've stressed before. A lot of you TAs out there are trying to do trend analysis on cryptocurrency the same way you would on uh, stocks, bonds, and other markets. They're not the same out there, okay? And this article talks about it. So if you're, if you're applying the same uh, fundamentals to crypto as you did the markets, the NASDAQ and whatnot they, they're not necessarily the same and you could read this a little bit more the paper reads our main conclusion okay is that indeed cryptocurrency represents an asset class that can be assessed using simple finance tools at the same time cryptocurrency comprise an asset class which is radically different from traditional asset classes let me repeat that radically different from traditional asset classes so when you're trying to apply the same functions that you would on NASDAQ with these charts, it isn't the same out there. So although someone's chart may look very fancy and they may sound like they know what they're talking about, I'm not sure if that same logic applies to cryptocurrency and this article seems to support my opinion out there okay so google search is correlated with uh crypto prices out there the higher the search uh you know that can be a direct correlation to uh an increase in price you could read the entire article down below i'm not going to read it all to you okay uh and let me know what you think uh we got uh bitcoin Price takes a hike, but does the technical picture really support it? I wasn't going to uh, mention this article. I should have probably uh, closed the tab, but it's okay uh, to uh, share competing uh, opinions. This is a bearish article, okay? Shout out to the little baby bear cubs out there. I see you. I see the babies out there, okay? Uh, these cubs are out there, and some of them are, you know, they're they're excited that things are going down. This, this uh, article is definitely uh, bearish. It says technical backtrack is not 
at all looking good. At the risk of stating the obvious, this researcher noted, the crypto technical backdrop continues to deteriorate despite news flow that many investors would argue is incrementally improving. Okay, I think it's incrementally improving. Okay, uh, there's good news out there. Uh, with this pattern in place, expect rebounds to stall at a similar retracement of the July rebound, which coincides with its declining 15-day moving average near 7,500, okay? Could this person that uh, Mr. Sloimer, I'm not sure exactly where he's from, but he's a gentleman from my, I think, Market Watch. Is he applying traditional market fundamentals to try to analyze cryptocurrency? Because if he is, according to this last article, uh, which you know kind of supports my opinion, you're probably making the wrong moves. If you're trying to apply those same fundamentals, it may not uh, click in, okay? They may not be compatible. OK, so, you know, this is a bearish article. I want to let you guys know that there's still a lot of bears out there. So prepare uh, for any possible uh, crypto storms to blow harder. OK, we're at 64, 63 right now. Uh, you know, things could take a dip, dive and a slide. We're always ready. We always got one in the chamber locked and loaded to keep firing. We have a buy order and a hotel advisory worldwide. And uh, I just want to let you guys know, I don't agree with this. OK, I'm, I'm more bullish personally. Uh, let's talk about. Uh, every Pedia, okay, blockchain encyclopedia launches as developers iron out token challenges. So if you haven't heard, every Pedia uh, just did a uh, airdrop not too long ago. Every Pedia is a competitor to Wikipedia that is uh, built on top of EOS. So every Pedia runs on top of the EOS blockchain. Okay, every Pedia is competing directly with Wikipedia, so it's a fork of Wikipedia. It has everything Wikipedia has plus more. And uh, some of the pros associated with every Pedia is that it's more censorship resistance, as I'm understanding reading the research. Now, I haven't actually jumped into it, and I don't even know directly, but uh, that's what I'm understanding here. Okay, uh, you could read a little bit more about uh, every Pedia. Uh, they're having a little issues trying to work out the token economics out there uh designing token economics that actually work and make sense is the most challenging aspect uh the ceo uh, or the co-founder of everypedia said to coin telegraph here in this article it's easy to create a token and have it do nothing except act as a unit of account inside of some service but that's not what the iq token done so if you check out everypedia i you know I, this kind of attracts me and I'll tell you why. I think that there's a function here. I think with the increase of censorship or uh, uh, the, the increase of the existence of censorship on some of these larger media platforms like Facebook, uh, like Twitter and uh, even YouTube here. Uh, you know, these decentralized platforms that are more censorship resistance could be valuable okay we do know that there is a censorship over there on wikipedia as well so how does this all work and why does this interest you anyway because you could possibly earn passive income by contributing to these wikis by staking these iq tokens so i invite you to read the everypedia white paper out there crypto boomers i have it linked down below it talks a little bit more about uh you know the every, it talks about everything really but i would invite you guys to go to this section the staking iq tokens it talks about some of the rewards associated with staking the IQ, okay? In order to make changes on the wiki, on the Everypedia wikis, you need to have IQ tokens and you need to have a certain amount of clout, I guess, uh, for lack of a better word, on that blockchain. This seems to be very similar to Steam. The Steam blockchain lets you have more exposure and have uh, more, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, influence on the networks if you have more token stakes. So it looks like... Uh, IQ tokens may work the same way. Uh, I want to share this with you guys again because this could be a way for you guys out there to earn passive crypto income by staking these IQ tokens, becoming active on that blockchain. Or if you guys want to become an editor, uh, you could also earn by doing that as well. If you want to contribute to the wikis, okay? Right now, uh, the registration invite is only uh, due to Registration is currently invite only due to blockchain software testing. So the, the actual platform's live, but it's only invite only. But I think if you could, you know, jump in the Telegram or the Reddit group out there, and if you're really interesting, I'm sure they'll let you in there. 
Okay, check out every Pedia, guys. I think that there's some value here being left on the table. And if you were holding EOS out there, you should have gotten free IQ tokens for holding the bag out there. So make sure you check out your account. You may already have some IQ tokens over there. Let's check out uh, Coindesk. Where have all the Augur users gone? Now, I want to talk about Augur as well. Uh, you know, in, re- uh, in addition to Everypedia, Everypedia and Augur are two platforms that have caught my attention that seem to be uh, attractive to users out there. But apparently, a lot of users have left the Augur platform. Now, Augur is a prediction marketplace, okay, where people could basically bet on any future event. You can create a prediction marketplace and let the Augur's users bet on your event, okay? And if you are correct on uh, what you're betting, of course, you can earn more. Everything works with the Augur token, the REP token. Now, apparently, they went live last week. It was all good, and now they're uh, losing users. Now, at the beginning of the broadcast, someone mentioned that there was an exploit that was exposed on the Augur platform. I wonder if that has to do with them losing users this week. Uh, You could read this article here. I'm excited about Augur. I think that it's something that uh, could be used more in the future uh, by uh, Cryptomaniacs. Okay, this is uh, a prediction marketplace. Check out Augur.net, the future of forecasting, a prediction market protocol owned and operated by the people that use it. So predict the next election, short a crypto, or hedge against a disaster. So you could create any type of prediction market with REP tokens and let people bet on them. And if you're right, you can win. Okay, so political forecasting, event hedging, weather prediction, company forecasting. You know, I think that this opens up a lot of potential and possibilities uh, for use of uh, the blockchains out here. Okay, Uh, rep is something that really caught my attention. Uh, Before I started really booming hard on these networks uh, was a token that I was holding for a while. I'm not I don't think I'm holding any auger right now. Maybe I'm holding maybe an insignificant amount, uh, but it's something that may be worth holding in the coming uh, short term future out there. I I like this. Now, uh, again, someone said that there was an exploit that was uh, exposed. I don't have all the details about that. But uh, when you read this article here on coindesk.com, it talks about uh, that there was only at the time of writing this, uh, the user base dropped to only 64 active users at the time that this gentleman was writing this uh, this author. I mean, this article, this author was writing this article, excuse me. Uh, so, you know, it's interesting to see where things will be headed. He says uh, that he thinks it'll be a two to three year process before this is usable from an average user standpoint. OK, but I still think here that, you know, however long this may take, uh, Augur seems like something that could be popular in the future, whether it's going to be running on Ethereum or maybe they have to relaunch it on something like EOS. Uh, I would keep my eyes on uh, on Augur out there as the rest of the maniacs are tuning in to this live broadcast. It's Champagne Crypto, the voice of the blockchain here. Satoshi's biggest cousin, your favorite YouTubers, favorite YouTuber. They want to boom how champagne booms out there. Uh, they want the effects. Uh, they want the sniper rifles. OK, uh, a lot of these crypto lefties, they just don't have the heart out there and they're a little scared out there to uh, be shadow banned. OK, that's really what it is. So I need you guys to touch the buttons uh, and make sure that you're tuned into the good crypto word just in case these lefty media company companies are shadow banning the boomers. OK, because the possibility is high out there. Shout out to David Pepe El Toro. Original copy, two tacos, sorry, and George, Sandro S, special ed, Cryptozilla, Tech 48, Jose Ortega, and the rest of the crypto maniac boomers that are tuning into this live broadcast. We got seven on the likes right now. There is no lonesome wolves out there that are hating with the down votes. So uh, I guess that's a good thing. Uh, but shout out to the lone uh, silent lurkers out there. I see you guys. Drop a comment. Step into the population of the chat box and become a boomer. Each one teach one here. Even when the market is low at 64, okay, whether it's at, uh, you know, 640 or $64,000, it doesn't matter. The boomers are here getting healthier and wealthier, lifting more, booming more. Kaboom to that. What up, Chief, says Tech48 Tech. I see you. David Tilbrook says, slay the bears. The shorts will be liquidated soon. Hopefully. 
Pepe El Toro, one of our high-ranking officials, says, what up? Original copy, another general out there says, you got to check it out and let us know. New release of DTube, says uh, original copy. Well, thanks for letting me know. This is another reason that I'm live on the networks because you guys let me know about information just as much as I let you know about information as well. So apparently, according to uh, original copy, one of our high-ranking officials here in the population of the chat box, DTube, a decentralized YouTube uh, has been upgraded. So I invite you guys to check that out. DTube connects to the Steam blockchain and it's a blockchain that I talk about frequently. Now the price may not kaboom with Steam, but it stays steady there and it's a way to earn for your activities on your so, uh, your social media activities. You get Steam, Steam back dollars, simply for liking, for co- uh, commenting, for curating, for posting. Uh, so this Steam blockchain has a lot of front end platforms that connect to it, including DTube which is a decentralized YouTube. I invite everybody that's being shadow banned or censored by these lefty media organizations to jump on the decentralized YouTube right now. Kaboom to that, okay? Dudes like uh, Alex Jones and some of these other uh, alternative media sites better focus on these crypto blockchains and uh, perhaps start moving some of the herd over here, okay? Over to the crypto boomer side Because uh, how long are you going to be depending on these major corporations to allow you to contact the masses, okay? We have new platforms. It's a new day. Things like DTube, Steemit, DLive, uh, DSound, and others, okay, may be an option. Now, the rumor is, okay, apparently that on EOS, there will be a decentralized social media platform that could compete with Steam in the near future. Now, we do know that there's a platform by the name of Oh No that's being launched off top of EOS that looks like a competitor to Steam, but right now it's still a little baby bear cub. Okay, so, you know, I just want to let you guys know that there's options out there. Okay, we don't need to depend on YouTube forever. So I always let you guys know, you know, maybe one day uh, champagne gets kicked out of here and then you could find me over there on Steemit. Okay, Uh, or any any other decentralized social media platform that may pop up. But uh, we need to use these tools, boomers. We need to use these tools. Okay, and thanks for letting us know about that original copy. Check out DTube. Uh, champ, champ, you got hyperlinks disabled. Otherwise, I'd share the link about D- DTube update. Yeah, I, I, it's it's on the settings there uh, that it's a uh, it's disabled. But if you want to go ahead and you know put what we should sh- we should search for. If not, you know maybe I'll do a video about it before. But I, I'm sure that the maniacs get the point. Uh, DTube has been upgraded. The bears need to be nuked, <laughs> said David Tilbrook. You know, shout out to the bears out there. You know, you guys keep us entertained. Okay, uh, at, at the minimum. Shout out to two tacos. He says it's kaboom time. Kaboom to you, tacos. If you're just tuning in, the voice of the blockchain here, Satoshi's big cousin and cryptography's finest. Uh, Bitcoin to transform world economy, says this gentleman over here, Cryptomaniac101. Uh, sounds like he may be tuning in to the population of the chat box. Don't forget who the original crypto maniacs out here are. Anyhow, this gentleman over here posting on TradingView, uh, the title of his post that I have linked down below is Bitcoin en route to transforming world economy. This is a bullish article. And uh, I even like the way that this tr- this chart looks. Uh, you know, he is basically mapping out the stages that we've been going through here with Bitcoin. He thinks that's what's coming up is a real life use. Uh, we'll be developing worldwide adoption of the blockchain, hyper maximize institutional investors, proper regulation, ETFs for multiple cryptos. And a total transformation of the world economy is what this gentleman is predicting here in this post. Uh, titled Bitcoin en route to transforming world economy on tradingview.com. I'll read you a portion of it here. And if you want to read it all, it's linked down below. Uh, Let me go ahead and open this up again. So he says, with massive manipulation in progress and panic selling ensuing, all you could do as an intelligent boomer is slowly but surely refill your positions. Refill, refill, refill them bags, lock and load, lock and load. Okay, every person who has been in crypto space for over nine months, okay, and understands basic economics, other words, have become a boomer, 
okay, can see that we are on a brink of a massive crypto adoption cycle, says Cryptomaniac101 in this article. Not uh, do not take this directly. We are not talking about Bitcoin mainstream adoption. We are referring to altcoin adoption. However, since Bitcoin is digital gold of crypto, it will move up towards its next target surely and firmly in the next coming month. So he thinks the boom is coming in the next month. So uh, he says that this is not the bull run for Bitcoin. It's going to be the mass adoption of altcoins is what this gentleman is predicting. And uh, it's, a, it's a nice spin. I like I like this. So you can check out his whole thing. I'm not going to read his whole entire article. Uh, you Definitely, uh, you guys should check it out on your own. But he thinks that we're en route to transforming the world economy. Uh, he says that this is an, uh, we're in a mass adoption stage already. Means institutional investors are not far from getting into crypto. By our estimates, it will happen within this year when we see a mass money flow into the crypto sphere. Uh, so enjoy this trade advice, crypto maniac. Says uh, this gentleman over here. He must be a boomer. Uh, I'm sure he's a a boomer. If you're if you're tuning into the population of the chat box, crypto maniac, I invite you to drop a little comment. Okay. Don't forget who the original crypto maniacs are. Okay. Kaboom to that. Shout out to uh, McLovin, the Irish R&B singer. I see you out there, McLovin. Crypto night is in the house. Bring on that world economy transformation. Kaboom to that. I agree. Revolutionist is in the house. Shout out to Revolutionist, one of our uh, high-ranking officials there in the box. Revolutionist says, when cryptos go mainstream, kaboom, as less than 1% are currently using cryptos. Less than 1% currently using cryptos. And again, that touches on the points that we were talking about yesterday during our live stream. That what we need here, instead of approval from the financial legacy system from the suits out there instead of approval what we need is adoption by the laymen so we need to be focusing more on getting people onboarding getting people using crypto getting companies accepting cryptos for goods and services rather than waiting around here and begging for acceptance for approval from these suits guys we don't need them we don't need them Shout out to Crypto Namacon. Kaboom to you. Good morning. Make the most of the cheap prices. Kaboom says the revolutionist. And I, mu I must agree with you right now. Uh, it looks like, uh, you know, right now it's a red tag discount event out there, guys. A red tag discount event. Uh, we've already issued that buy order in HODL Advisory Worldwide. Hopefully the boomers are taking heed. Crypto Namacon says, yo champ, your take on back the ice New York ex, uh, Stock Exchange Company with that. We don't need no ETFs, bro. Yes, uh, we talked about it yesterday in our live broadcast uh, about how, uh, you know, that, that news slipped through the cracks. I know that news was announced last week. We know about it, but we talked more about that backed platform uh, by a New York Stock ex Exchange uh, parent company, the ICE company, which is uh, now forming this platform backed uh, in uh, partnership with companies like Microsoft, Starbucks, and others in order to get more people uh, and institution involved in crypto. I think it's huge. It's huge news that has been overlooked. Some are saying it's the biggest crypto news of the year. And, uh, you know, that might be true. So, you know, I, I give it a thumbs up. I give it a thumbs up. Although, I mean, I'm, you know, I, I'm not looking for approval. I, I don't care so much about the New York Stock Exchange or these suits doing what they're doing. Uh, and in fact, you know, anytime the suits get in, it starts smelling a little like central banking. Okay. But at this point in the game, I understand that we may have to cross over somewhat and, uh, you know, that's the name of the game. So I, I can see the positives with that. If you want to know more about my opinions, I invite you to check out my last live stream from yesterday and, uh, you'll find out more. Uh, shooting jump shots while listening to the Kaboomer of YouTube. Shout out to Currency365, another boomer on the tubes. Uh, make sure you're following Currency. He's a boomer, a fellow boomer that stops by here. Uh, another high-ranking official here in the box. We appreciate you there, Currency. Kaboom to you. Keep shooting them jump shots, guys. If you're not shooting hoops, if you're not jogging, if you're not biking, if you're not lifting, guys, you need to do it now. I don't want any fat boys out here, okay? A lot of fat boys out there playing PS4, Call of Duty, uh, Fortnite, and instead they need to be going outside, uh, getting some vitamin D or going to the gym and lifting some more weight. 
Okay, I don't want any fat boys in this box. And moreover, I don't want any skinny, frail, little baby bear cubs. Okay, we don't need them either, okay? Kaboom to health. Guys, I'm following the Strong Lifts 5x5 program. It's a basically a powerlifting program aimed to increase your strength. Uh, I invite you to check it out. You can check it out at stronglifts.com slash 5x5. I don't get any kickbacks or anything by letting you guys know about this program. I simply am excited about letting you guys know about the good uh, news, the good health news out there, okay? Because this is definitely... Uh, you know, making champagne feel better every day. I'm lifting more. I was out at the gym today. I was me uh, mentioning to uh, to uh, Miss uh, Mrs. Champagne this morning that uh, the more weight you put on the bar, okay, it appears like less people bother you at the gym because I've been doing squats every day. Okay, it seems like you know you're, there's only one squat rack in my gym, and the problem is you're using that one squat rack. And uh, every time I do my exercise, I start off with squats. So sometimes, you know, if you go at the wrong time, people are asking you, hey, how many sets do you got? And being that I'm moving up in weight every single time, it's kind of distracting. You know, I'm, I want to take my time. But I was mentioning uh, this morning that as I'm increasing the weight, uh, I think we're uh, gaining more respect in the gym. Less people are uh, asking me how many more sets I got. They're, uh, they're, they're leaving champagne alone because apparently I'm, I'm, uh, I'm lifting more weight than them right now, okay? I'm still, I'm still a little baby bear cub. I'm still a beginner in my opinion, okay? I'm trying to move up to that intermediate level and, uh, you know, maybe one day in advanced level. Now, how much is champagne lifting? That's not your concern. You need to focus on yourself. Someone the other day tried to message me, how much are you lifting? What are your numbers? Listen, I told him that doesn't matter, okay? It doesn't matter how much champagne lifts how much are you lifting is the better question okay you need to get in the gym right now and focus on what you're lifting and lift more than you were lifting yesterday don't worry about champagne what champagne's lifting don't worry about what champagne how many coins i'm holding and in fact don't worry about the rest of the population of the chat box what they're doing focus on yourself first be responsible for your own bags okay guys that's the boomer way Shout out to uh, Chris Cantu. Eat those raw eggs like Rocky, says Champagne, uh, says Chris Cantu. Uh, shout out to Chris out there. Uh, was uh, uh, happy to see you here in the box and uh, welcome you here, uh, Chris. Guys, follow Chris out there. He's another boomer. Uh, he's been recommending eating raw meat out there, okay? I don't know much about that, okay? I know you could eat steak uh, medium rare and it's okay. It's tasty, okay? I don't know what the exact health benefits out there, but he's suggesting that we look into it. Uh, as well as looking into uh, eating raw eggs. Now, I saw Rocky do it, okay? I saw Rocky do it, and he won the championship. Now, I know it's just a fictional story out there, but uh, is there any truth to that? Tell him get back 50 feet, bro, says uh, Chris Cantu. Yeah, I got to tell people to get back. I only got one squat rack in my gym. I try to get there early, okay? And as I increase the weight, okay, I want to take one to three minutes in between sets to rest, you know, to rest, uh, you know, and I'm taking my time. I don't need uh, some of these little baby bear cubs coming up here and asking me how many sets I got left. The other day I told, uh, I had to tell someone, they asked me, uh, how many sets do you got left? I told them, I got a lot more than you. Okay. I got more sets than you got left. So you got to wait. Okay. So, you know, sometimes you got to get aggressive on these maniacs. If we want a trillion dollar market cap, we need to cross over. It's like a uh, rap champ. You got to go mainstream to see them Jay-Z numbers. <laughs> Unless you want to stay underground and get cool G rap numbers. I agree. Okay, I, I agree. You know, uh, you know sometimes you want to you wanna trade like common sense. Uh, but we ain't been booming like common. Okay, I, I get you out there, Namacon. I get it. I get it. Shout out to Crypto Stacks. Shout out to Oliver, uh, Roger Oliver. I see you, uh, Roger. Welcome. Good morning to you. Bit Papa tells them when he's tired. Okay. Uh, sounds like a Planet Tofu Gym, says Chris Cantu. Yeah, it's not a, it's not a Planet Fitness, but, you know, it's closer along to, uh, along to those lines of a commercial gym. They only got one squat rack. And, you know, I, I've been looking into, you know, maybe going to a, another gym. Uh, but the thing is that the gym I'm using now is, is next to uh, free. You know, it's very cheap in price. And if I go early there, you know, it's, it's good for me. But you're right. You know, uh, some of these commercial gyms are full of little, uh, like you say, soy boys. Okay. Uh, to, to take one of your terms. So, uh, you know, you're right. It's full of tofu. And uh, we may have to consider as we increase the weight to uh, go to a new domain out there.
<laughs> hey, leave tofu alone. A vegan here says Namakon. Uh, Namakon Na- uh, is a, a, a vegan out there, and we respect you out there. Uh, definitely not trying to just push your agenda like some of the boomers that were tuning in, or they're not boomers. I would just say they're baby bear cubs, and they want to push their agenda. Hey, listen, if you're a, a vegan, a vegetarian, and that works for you, then thumbs up. I got no, I'm not mad at you. It just doesn't work for champagne. Okay, and we do know, okay, that tofu and soy raises estrogen. Okay, that's a fact. Okay, look it up out there. So, you know, you may want to, if you're a vegan, you may want to watch out by eating too much soy. Uh, you may, you know, you be maybe raise, raising your estrogen. We want to raise the testosterone. Okay, so don't hustle backwards out there. Yeah, it's a champ. The soy boys are out there. And, uh, you know, that's, that's a, a term that I've heard from Chris. So, uh, you know, I, I definitely... Uh, didn't dub that. You guys check out Chris to find out more about uh, how to combat these soy boys out there. The soy is for babies, says Sandro S. Uh, I could agree. Uh, Pepe El Toro says, did not know that. Yeah, so soy. And again, guys, you know, I'm just, I'm just spitting back the research that I've uh, came, become familiar with. You know that champagne's not a, a scientist or a personal trainer, nor am I a, uh, you know, investment advisor. I'm just trying to give you guys my opinion, share some of the information that I've came across. So apparently, yes, yeah, soy increases estrogen, okay? Don't take my word for it. Do your own research. Uh, we launching soy boy airstrikes in the box. Kaboom to that. Shout out to my snipers. Crypto Namacon still a fan. We respect you, Namacon. It's all, it's all good. I, I see some people out there uh, with the vegan gains. I think I was following a channel there, a vegan bodybuilder. So, I mean, you know, you can still get results out there if you don't want to eat meat. I respect that. I just happen to like eating meat and I feel uh, stronger and healthier when I do. So, you know, it is what it is. <laughs> Too much soy can get your feelings hurt, says Crypto Knight. Okay. <laughs> Sandro S says, hey, man. Haha, man, I love your humor. I appreciate you tuning in, Sandro. Revolutionist says, hit the likes. Absolutely. Touch the buttons out there, guys. Touch the buttons. Shout out to Roger Oliver. Uh, for being so generous, uh, always dropping a little donation. One more donation to your channel, champ. Enjoy. Shout out to Roger Oliver. Or is it Olivier? I'm not sure if I'm mispronouncing. May, I may have been mispronouncing your name the whole time. And uh, excuse me if I did. You know, I'm not the best with the pronunciations out here. But Roger Oliver just dropped five euros in the box. And uh, this is not the first time he does a little tip here in the hat. I appreciate you, uh, Roger. Thank you. Cryptonomicon is out there. Uh, Sandro West says, soy is for baby bears. Indeed. You guys got jokes. Mad funny, says Namakon. Crypto Tone says, I heard about soy on Lock Up Raw. Dudes in the pen said the same. Okay, so you know, there, there you go. You got some cross-reference out there. It's not just champagne saying that uh, the soy uh, creates estrogen. Love this channel. It's pure edutain- ed- edutainment, champ. Thank you, Cryptonomicon. Uh, that's definitely the lane that uh, I would like to reach. You know, I, w- I like to uh, entertain and educate at the same time. You know, uh, we're not here just to, to play games. We're here for the long boom. In order to be long boomers, we need to build ourselves up as men, get stronger, healthier, and wealthier. Okay, but uh, you know, we do it and have some fun out here. We gotta have some fun out here, crypto maniacs. Uh, we can't be so serious all the time. Soy is for pony boys. <laughs> okay. You guys are really ripping on the soy boys today. Namakon, you're going to have to do something about that tofu. All the guys in the box are coming at you today, Namakon. If you're just tuning in, it's the voice of the blockchain here. Satoshi's biggest cousin, cryptography's finest. Uh, Bitcoin to transform world economy. So says this article by Cryptomaniac101. We wonder where he got that name from. Uh, This title of the article is uh, is titled Bitcoin en route to transforming world economy. You could uh, see this nice chart that he drew out here. I like this chart. Okay. He talks about, you know, technology gets discovered uh, back there in uh, 2013. Where's my, my cursor here? There it is. Uh, back in 2013 is when the tech got discovered, the hype, the speculators, there was no utility to the bits. Uh, and it boomed from about $10 to about $1,200. Okay. And then the, we went into a bear market sometime in uh, 
2014, you could see after that long kaboom, that that boom, this boom right here is way more than the boom that we experienced back in uh, the beginning of the year at the end of 2017. Okay, that boom is way bigger. So after that boom, you could see that, you know, things traded sideways for a, a couple of years, a couple of years. Uh, the enthusiasm had faded, said this article. And there was no media attention, no more speculators. Developers were working on products. So that's what happened uh, for some time. Then the developers finalized their products. Crypto uh, started approaching real life use. Speculators started returning. The media gave it attention, the hype. And then we had the kaboom. What's next, says this article, is real life use, use will develop. Worldwide adoption of the blockchain will take place. Uh, hype will be maximized. Institutional investors will come into the space. We're starting to see that. Uh, then we'll see some more uh, regulation. He says proper regulation. ETF for multiple cryptos. That would be very interesting. So not only does this gentleman expect an ETF to be approved for Bitcoin, but for some other cryptos as well in the coming future. Uh, and then that will lead to a transformation of the world economy, says Cryptomaniac 101. I got to shout him out. Kaboom to that. Make sure you check out his article there on tradingview.com. Okay, definitely a bullish article. Uh, we got Google, Google search volume can predict crypto price movement study suggests. Now, this is something that I think everyone's intuition could kind of figure out, but there's an actual study here that's proving it. Okay. So, uh, according to this article, you could kind of predict price based more on the hype around the coin and how many people are searching it rather than some of the fundamental technical analysis that those charters may follow when it comes to uh, traditional markets uh, like stocks and bonds. Okay. So, you know, watch out for those that are charting and they got all the fancy charts, all the great, the, the good terms uh, and they have all the indicators and, you know, it may look like they know what they're doing, but I do not believe that the same fundamentals apply those mo fundamentals that they uh, use on stocks and bonds they don't necessarily apply to crypto, okay? So you just can't take that and just dump it on crypto and expect that that will reveal uh, the same insights as they do when you apply them to the traditional markets, okay? It seems like search volume can correlate to price predictions better than some trend analysis can. I want you guys to read this article. I have it linked down below. Uh, you can see over here that uh, the IQ, the, the, the Everypedia token has launched, but they're still having some challenges. I've talked about Everypedia and Augur today because these are two platforms that I could see being used more. I think the, the, the topic of discussion should be adoption, okay, rather than approval from the legacy system, okay? We got to be talking about who's adopting these platforms, who's using them, who's actually building with the community now uh it looks like every pedia could be a blockchain and a token that could be used being that it's a fork of wikipedia and it will allow users to earn cryptocurrency for contributing to the wikis for verifying the wikis and whatnot i invite you guys to check out the everypedia white paper that i have list listed below you can find out all about it and maybe perhaps uh, you guys may want to get involved in uh, becoming editors or staking these tokens if you would like to get some rewards. I think that this thing is going to be around. Every PD is being built on or is built on EOS. And I would keep my eyes on this. And uh, another platform that I see that could be used frequently in the future is Augur. Okay, this is a prediction market protocol. Uh, you could predict anything elections you could short cryptos you could hedge against disasters uh you know right now auger was launched uh, i think about last week and uh you know they discovered a bug okay and that you know may have caused some of the users to stop using the platform i know that the use had dropped it says you know this article over here says where of all the auger users gone uh, the day it launched, it breezed into the rankings, uh, but then, you know, slowly people stopped using it. Uh, I believe that, you know, that could be related to the the bug that was found and uh, whatnot. But I still think that this platform here, okay, this idea, I don't think it's going to go away. So this, this idea of predicting, uh, of betting on future events, 
on media events, on election cycles, on weather or anything like that through a decentralized system, I think that that idea is not going anywhere. Okay, will it uh, boom in the form of Augur or another platform? I don't know. I would like to keep my eyes on Augur because, you know, this is a token platform that has caught my attention for over a year now. Okay, over a year now, almost maybe two years now. I said when I first heard about this, I said, oh, this this looks like it could be valuable. Okay, uh, you know, right now it's not to full use. They got a small amount of users and, you know, this just launched last week or whatnot. But, uh, you know, I, I invite you guys to check it out. OK, uh, you can see that, you know, it's it's basically suffering some liquidity problems right now. But if these things could be hashed out, I think something like this could be the future. Again, uh, maybe it's not in the form of Augur. Maybe they do another prediction marketplace on EOS or on NEO or on Tron or whatever. But I think prediction marketplaces, uh, there's value being left there on the table. Uh, and then again, every PD, I think so, too. You guys got to check it out. Uh, let me know how you feel about that. As the rest of the boomers are tuning in, we got 31 in the box. We've been streaming for about 46 minutes now, so I'll go ahead and take a uh, comment, some questions before I tune out. I see Bit Papa, I see Roger, I see Namacon, and I see the rest of the boomers there in the box. Okay, uh, Bit Papa says less than six thousand dollars already. Bitcoin volume on Bit uh, on Coinbase. Yeah, I mean it's 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 taking a dip, dive, and slides. We just got to be prepared here to go a little lower. I believe that the bottom is about 5,700. That's what my I'm calling. Namacon has buy orders set just in, pl uh, in place just in case. Okay. I think 58 will hold support before another 8,000 to 9,000, says Bitpapa. I seem to agree with you, Bitpapa. I say 57, 58, so we're, 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 in a, we're agreeing with each other. All right, guys. If there's no more comments or questions, I'm going to go ahead and start tuning out. And uh, start enjoying my weekend out there. Uh, get out there. If you haven't gone out to the gym or if you're not shooting hoops like 365, if you're not riding bike, doing a little jog out there, do it now. Do it now. I need you eating healthy as well, okay? I don't want you guys eating candies or too much bread, too much sugar out there, or too much pasta, okay? Uh, carbohydrates cause inflammations, okay? All carbohydrates are sugars, okay? You want to cut all the sugars out as much as possible and uh, eat more fat and eat more protein, in my personal opinion. Uh, I invite you to check out the keto diet. It's the diet that I have followed for the past about a month and a half. I lost almost 13, 14 pounds, gained more muscle, Okay, I haven't been so strict with the keto this week, uh, being that I stripped most of the weight that I wanted to, but uh, it definitely worked. Uh, we def we also hooked up with uh, Perfect Keto, a company that uh, creates uh, ketogenic products out there, and they hooked us up with a discount code. So if you guys want things like protein powder, uh, keto uh, friendly protein collagen powder we get 15 percent off those perfect keto pro and protein powders keto testing strip if you want to test your urine hold yourself accountable make sure you're in ketosis they sell the strips out there for about 10 bucks uh they got uh butters they got mct oils and other things that you guys may be interested in so uh, i invite you to click on the link i got a discount code it's 15 percent off i also invite you guys to check out all the links that i got down below maybe you're just a new boomer maybe you just came into the crypto space maybe you haven't uh, joined any cryptocurrency exchanges yet, or maybe you only have joined one. I have most of the popular crypto exchanges linked down below, and uh, you can go ahead and join using my link, and uh, perhaps maybe I get a kickback, okay? You can help Champagne out if you like, okay? And also, uh, check out the Coinbase link. Maybe you haven't even bought Bitcoin yet, okay? Maybe you're just here listening. You've been silent lurking for some time now, and uh, you haven't jumped into the crypto waters yet, okay? Here with the sharks, uh, it could be a good time. You know, they say to buy the dips and buy when there's blood on the field. Well, definitely this has been a dip this week and there is blood on the field. So you may want to consider if you're interested uh, in getting crypto, checking out the Coinbase link, because if you spend more of, than $100 on crypto, they'll give you an extra $10 worth of Bitcoin uh, and they'll kick me back $10 too. So, you know, not only do you win, uh, Champagne wins as well. So it's a kaboom on both angles. Have a good weekend, champ. Going to look out for other sources of protein. Ain't trying to be a soy boy, <laughs> says uh, CryptoNomicon. Yeah, look out for, watch out for that tofu. Too much tofu. You don't want to be a soy boy out there, Namicon. I, I invite you to check out some of the healthy nuts. Some of them have a high protein as well. I've been eating macadamia, walnuts, and stuff like that. So, you know, and also, I uh, was at the Whole Foods uh, the other day looking at the protein powders there in the, uh, in the aisles, and they seem to have a nice selection of uh, plant-based proteins. I think they're made out of peas. 
if I'm not mistaken. I've never tried it, so I don't know if it's good or bad, but you may want to check that out. Uh, I don't think that peas have uh, soy in them, so uh, you may want to check that out as well. Uh, if not, you know, go ahead and check out the protein collagen we have here, uh, link down below. I believe that is made from uh, grass-fed uh, beef. Uh, so, you know, if you're not into the animal products, maybe that's not for you, but for everybody else, you know, check that out. I, I definitely like uh, animal protein, okay? It looks like the shores of Normandy out there. Yeah, because soldiers have lost limbs, uh, blood is being spilt, and uh, many have been killed in actions. Our condolences to those baby bear cubs. Cheers, champ. The rest of the week, uh, have the nice rest of the weekend. Maniacs, uh, fantastic weekend. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you, Crypto Knight. My gym is closed. I'm biking at the moment. Have to do something, says Roger. Absolutely. Do something. Bike. And you may want to look into some calisthenics too. Uh, you know, some pull-ups, some push-ups, some squats without weight, you know, do some, uh, some body exercises, you know, just, you know, use your body weight to uh, increase your strength. You know, that, that's also a boomer weight. Tofu is good and there are keto recipes out there. Uh, listen, you know, the, there, there is sources of, you know, it's a, it's a source of protein and, you know, I'm sure that tofu is good, but too much soy has been linked to raising estrogen. So, you know, I don't know if you just eat, you know, tofu once a week, if you're going to raise your estrogen, but uh, it has been linked. Now, I don't know what the threshold is, but, uh, you know, it is what it is. All right, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and tune out. I appreciate uh, you guys tuning in. Shout out to Cryptozilla, Roger Oliver. Thanks again there, Roger, for the for the uh, gratuity. I appreciate it. And shout out to all the the crypto maniacs out there. Body slam the likes. Okay, uh, I'll be go ahead and tune out. If I don't catch you this weekend, I'll see you Monday. It's the voice of the blockchain here, Satoshi's biggest cousin, cryptography's finest, Champagne Crypto. Thanks for tuning in. <laughs>